So I just wanted to provide a, sort of an overview of how to access the data for the gauging station part of this lab. So you'll see this is sort of the first thing after you click on the link from the flood lab that kind of takes you this sort of overview page, which just, you know, kind of X out. And all of these individual dots represent different gauging stations all across the country. Um, so you can see some areas are wetter. The sort of black and blue areas are really high water conditions. Red, yellow are lower water conditions. So if we kind of come over here, I can pick on a particular station. And I'm looking at the Nooksack River at Ferndale. Um, and so it shows me specifically what the cubic feet is over the last several days. Um, it you know, I can see what temperature it is. I can see the gauge height if I want to. I can also expand this over a shorter period of time. If I wanted to put it at a log scale to kind of give some context, I could, but it's not really necessary right now since it's um, not a big amount of change. Um, but I can also then show the map where this is coming from. So I can zoom into that and get a much better sense of where that is. So that can kind of give me a sense of whether it's upstream or downstream. Sometimes it'll even tell you. Um, I might go to the site page. So it gives me all this great information. It will tell me um, the current conditions over the last seven days. I can get over the last 30 days. So I can see that it's sort of definitely lower than it has been. I can get over the last year. So I can also get a sense of sort of where this is relative to the last year, you know, over this time period. But it also then shows sort of these flood record heights as well, right? So I can kind of contextualize where this, where what the height is um, or the discharge. Again, you can kind of look at discharge instead. Um, and you can compare it to last year. You can display the median. So what's the sort of average height at this time of year. So you can see we're kind of below average. These lines would indicate sort of flood stages. So you can see, of course, last November, we had really, really high levels. So the idea is this also tells you sort of the median over what period of time. Um, you can look at a whole bunch of data. It looks like the discharge over since 1989. Um, again, this sort of shows us that we're sort of in the sort of this is technically arguing that it's sort of upstream flow line. I would argue it's somewhere in between. A lot of information, right? So the idea is once you actually go to the sort of home page of the particular site, you can get a lot of information. I hope that helps as you're looking to answer the questions in lab this week.